Hi everybody, it's Patty and happy Valentine's Day. I know it's early, but I decided to decorate my dining room table for Valentine's Day this year and I got some really cute things very inexpensively and I wanted to show you what I've done just in case you want to do your table or your home too for Valentine's Day. I want you to be able to get some of these items because they're already showing Easter in the stores and uh, you want to get these things while they're still there. Everything I purchased is either from the Dollar Tree or it's from the $1 section of Target, you know, right when you go in the front door there, or some of the things are from my china cabinet and my linen closet. Uh, I used my own everyday white dishes. They're a Linux pattern and I think it's called Butterfly. I will put the exact name here for you. Uh, when Jim and I got married, we had everything you can imagine dish-wise and we decided that we wanted some everyday dishes that were ours and we decided to go with white and we found these originally at TJ Maxx and when I tell you that we piecemealed these, in the beginning we had our family, our kids, going into TJ Maxx's where they lived, purchasing them. We went on the website where you can buy, oh, uh, where you can get replacement dishes. It may be replacements.com. I'll check that out and I'll put that uh, on the screen here too when I do the editing. But so we finished, we were able to get a 12 place setting uh, of three different pieces, the dinner plate, a salad or dessert plate, and a bowl. And so we use those as our everyday dishes. And actually, we have not pulled out our good china uh, one single time since we've been married because we just love these dishes. They seem to work for everything. So I'm using those dishes. I'm using, I have a very large collection of water pitchers, tea pitchers. Uh, I also have a cake plate collection. I like glass. I like glass in any shape, form, or fashion. I like old glass, I like new glass, I like crystal, I like pressed glass. If I see something I like, if I think it's cute, if I think it's something that I can work with some way or just have it on display, I will purchase it. Um, so I collect cake plates, I collect pictures, I collect glass, and I collect silver. Uh, I love silver and it doesn't have to be bright and shiny. I like tarnished. Uh, I, you know what? It's flashy, and I'm sure that's why I like it. The only problem with having these collections is I have nowhere to store it. It's always been a problem, even when I had room to store it. So that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see some of my glassware. You're gonna see our everyday dishes. You're gonna see some napkins, uh, cloth napkins that I pulled out of the linen closet. I've set the table for four and the reason I did that is because we will probably have another couple over for, for dinner sometime between now and Valentine's Day which is not quite a month off as I filmed this. So that's why I've set it for four. But what I want you to know that if you are like I was for 30 plus years and you there's a very good chance that you're going to spend uh, Valentine's Day with the one person you should love the most yourself uh, you should have a pretty place to eat and so I have set up my bar area uh, where I have a bar stool and if I were alone that's where I would sit. I would want to make that pretty too. So you'll get to see that too in this video. Oh, and by the way, I didn't look. Dollar Tree, two to a pack. You need one of these. 
So I filmed this and I'll sort of talk you through it um, as, you, as you watch it. And one of the things you're going to notice in the video is uh, it is lit with a couple of different kinds of lights and candles. And it's, I filmed it in different lighting situations. I filmed it daytime. I filmed it uh, in the early evening. I filmed it with uh, everything lit up, with the overhead lights on, with the overhead lights, lights off, so that you can sort of get the effect of it. I have a, a wreath that I'm going to be making, and if I can get it made today, and um, then I will tack that on to the end of this video. It, I saw it on Pinterest. It's a paper doily wreath. And they are so cute. And they are so inexpensive. And it looks like they are so easy to make. So I'm gonna to try to get that made and I'll film it. And I will try to tack that on to the end of this video. So enjoy. Happy Valentine's Day. Keeps missing, the clouds seem to fade, and every occasion I whisper your name. I'm happy to hear that you'll still be around. I thought you were. both pros and cons It's hard to admit when you feel you don't belong So tell me, are you still in there? As beautiful as you are You just don't know how far In this world I'll be Right by your
Okay, everybody, let's look at making this little wreath. I'll list the supplies that I used, but basically you need a hot glue gun. You need a frame. You need a stapler, scissors, some wire, ribbon, hot glue, and the paper doilies. And I bought these at the Dollar Tree. The wreath I got, that wire frame I got at Hobby Lobby, it was, I think, three about $3, but I saw them also at Dollar General in the same size for, I think they were $1.50. The little heart valentines are the 8-inch size, and I believe there's 24 to a pack, and I wound up using, uh, I opened three packs. I didn't quite finish it. The video that I watched on Pinterest on how to make these uh, said to put about, I believe it said three valentines or three doilies in each little segment. I wound up doing five. I liked the fullness of it. But basically what you do is you accordion pleat the doily and then staple the pleat together. And that does not have to be neat. And then you wrap it under, you start with the outer two rims and wrap it around, you can see, and then, and I'm just testing it there, but then basically you hot glue it, uh, that tab that you put under the wire, you hot glue it back on itself. But you're going to make sure that you get the hot glue on the wire rim itself. That's what keeps the doily from 
sliding around and, and flipping on you. And then after you get all the way around and have the outer ring looking the way you want to, you start on the inner ring. And I start, I did it a little bit different than she did. Uh, as you can see, I'm putting it um, down and up, if that makes any sense. And, and I w actually wound up going uh, through the lower two rings and gluing it. Tried to be careful not to crease that top one any more than I could. You can see here I'm just practicing. This project took just a few minutes. It really did. I went ahead and folded and stapled all of my doilies so that I had them ready. I had to stop at some point and fold some more because I had not folded enough. But mine, as you'll see, is super full. Now, if you want to watch the same video that I did, I don't have the link to it, but if you'll go on Pinterest and in the search bar just type paper doily wreaths, you will see several. But this one is there. You will see it. And she gives great instructions on how she did this. I haven't decided yet exactly where I'm going to put this. I have a gallery wall in our living room and I took down one of the pictures and hung this so that I could see it on the wall. Uh, I'll show you a picture at the end here of it on the wall. You, uh, It's not going to stay there. As a matter of fact, I've already moved it. And I still haven't decided where I'm going to put it, but it is so cute. I would have put it outside, but with the weather, I was a little bit afraid to. So I'm going to stop talking and I will let you listen to some pretty music and watch me finish making this. I think you'll love it. I, I highly encourage you to make this. Probably with the ribbon, the wire rim, and the doilies, I probably only spent maybe... Ten dollars on this wreath. I will tell you that that little red glue gun right there I killed. I had run out of hot glue sticks and I ran down to the Dollar General which is fairly close to me and the only glue sticks they had were those little mini glue sticks the real thin ones and they just melted and ran all out of that uh, glue gun so I had to go pull out another glue gun and I just watched that one a little bit more careful and did not um, did not ruin it but the little red one it's gone I'm glad it was cheap be careful with the hot glue uh, I after this you'll see I started using my scissors to press those tabs down so that I didn't get the hot glue on my hands or on my fingers. It burns. This goes real fast. I, I didn't time myself, but I'm sure less than an hour. So enjoy. And don't forget to go out and be kind to someone today. Remember that uh, it does you a whole lot more good than it does them. I'll see you in our next video. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. Bye-bye. I never thought that I would be traveling this road People keep missing The clouds seem to fade Every occasion I whisper your name I might be to hear that you'll still be around I thought you were leaving without a sound In my little world you are both pros and cons
be right by your side with arms even if you don't want you wrote your name in my heart you're all Right by 